What's going on guys welcome back to the channel so I asked you last night what you wanted to see top Apple Watch features or hidden iOS 14 features so I had to deliver here are your hidden iOS 14 features and there's also 30 of those hidden features let's get started all right guys so the first feature is pin messages now we could pin multiple conversations and messages so you could just swipe to the right and pin anything to the top tier list of your messages which would be right here there's this new filters menu in the messages system which automatically organize unknown senders so all you have to do is just click this button right here now if you go back into messages you have this filters options where you could see from known senders, unknown senders, or promotions, much like on the Android side, but it's good to see Apple taking steps to declutter the messages in our inboxes. While we're in the messages, there's also this new emoji keyboard, but currently only works with the English US version of the keyboard in my testing. So if you go in here, we could search for key mode, so you could type in lol, it will bring up all the laughing emotes, or type in red, bring up all the red emotes and yeah it's just a quicker and more easier way to find emotes than to be scrolling all day the bedtime mode in ios 13 is now replaced with this new sleep option you could go into the health app and then you could set your sleep schedule and it shows you all your sleeping pattern and also the time you've been awake and also the time you've been actually sleeping so you could set your goals choose your schedule and get better sleep at night Wind down is a new feature which is related to sleep mode. It will reduce the distractions and help you to relax before you go to bed. So if you go into the set health app, sleep, now you find this wind down feature where you could add your different wind down apps. So when it's time to go to bed, these are all your favorite apps you could choose. You could add any app you want to. And these are the apps that will show up on your lock screen that you could use in order to help you to go to bed. And also you could set your wind down time as well. In iOS 14, the Siri shortcuts has received some welcome changes. Now you could set automation when the device is charging or using low pro mode. For example, you could set Siri to turn off, do not disturb, Bluetooth, reduce brightness, turn off location and everything. For example, when you go into low pro mode. So yeah, so if you go into low pro mode, you could choose what would happen. And I think that's pretty cool. If you're like me and you use a lot of shortcuts, you realize that there's a new gallery in the shortcuts UI. So the ready to go Siri shortcuts in the gallery menu now shows bigger thumbnails and more information. I like how Apple has played with different colors for different stuff and in general, it just looks really nice. There's this new security recommendations feature in iCloud Keychain. Now, IS-14 now warns us about the data breach and all of that, potential password leaks. So, it will display the account and provide you the link to change the password on the website. Apple calls it like a security recommendation. And yeah, it's a part of iCloud Keychain. Now, in IS-14, it allows us to mirror our front camera. So, normally, if you jump on here and we take a selfie, it doesn't usually mirror our images. So, it would give us a flip image. But if you go into here and go to camera, you could enable mirror front camera. So when you're taking a selfie, it will come out just like how you took it. In iOS 14, there's a lot of different widgets you could play around with. But my favorite is probably the smart stack widget. So as you can see, this isn't just one widget like these. So it's easy to enable and you could change the different kinds. So if you go into edit home screen or edit stack, you could remove as a widget shows which show which one you want to see more often and you could delete them as well by swiping to the right and yeah I think that's just pretty cool so in iOS 14 when you try to delete an app the system will offer you a new feature to add it to the app library so as you can see my home screen only has two pages and then we have the app library which is the new app drawer so if we just hold, hold down here and say, for example, we want to delete assistant or put it to the app library to get it off our screen. We could delete or simply just add that to our app library. And if we want to put back the app to our home screen, we just come here and hit add to home screen. And simple as that, we now have our app back on our home screen. Now, another feature I have here is from all my Indian viewers. So there's no smart downloads in India. So with iOS 14, you could download India Siri voices and software updates as well as download and stream Apple TV plus shows over cellular networks for the first time. So that's not worldwide. It's just for India. But from all my Indian viewers, let me see some W's in the chat.
Now in iOS 14, there's this new UI in the clock app. So you find a new bubble style user interface for adding time and date throughout the operating system. It's not the, I don't know, I kind of miss the little carousel or carousel that would get. That was just this little bubbly time. And yeah, I don't know what I think about it, but yeah, it's a new feature. In the messages menu, there's this new setting called notify me. So basically when enabled from the settings, the notify me option will bypass the muted conversations and send you a notification when someone mentions you in a group chat. Now, one of my favorite hidden features in iOS 14 is the back tap feature. I currently have mine set to invoke the camera. So if I back tap, double tap twice on the back of my iPhone, it will bring up the camera app. And in order to get this, you just need to go to settings scroll down to accessibility right here then go to touch back tap and you could triple tap to mute for me you could change the options of course and double tap for me is to open the camera and the way how i did this was through series shortcuts all right so there's this new feature in group facetime add-on so basically you know when you're in a group facetime and someone is talking the bubble will come up to the top who's already speaking now for people who uses sign language whenever the AI picks up that they're using sign language that would bring them to the top as well and I thought that was a good gesture no pun intended in iOS 14 we now have a new banner notification for Bluetooth devices that are connected so this is a welcome change in iOS 14 now it showcases a small banner on the notification at the top whenever a Bluetooth device is connected so if we go over here and go to Bluetooth oh, I was deep in the settings so if we go to Bluetooth right here and we connect or Tautronics. You could see that nice little animation that tells us that our device is connected. Another cool banner notification is when your Apple Watch or AirPods is fully charged. It will send almost the same kind of banner notification. And I've actually found that while I was editing the video. So I had to take a screenshot. And yeah, this is what it will look like. So you get this nice animation that's saying Apple Watch battery is charged. Siobhan's Apple Watch is fully charged. So yeah, I think that was a cool to gesture and I don't think anyone really knows about it. So there's this new indicator whenever you're using the camera or microphone in the background. Now with iOS 14, Apple is really doubling down on privacy. So basically whenever you're using an app that is using your camera, it will show green. And if, for example, you're an app that using your microphone, for example, like WhatsApp, Let's make a call there's will be this orange indicator that shows that you're using your microphone which is kind of cool now remember the breadcrumb feature that we have in i don't remember what iOS version it came out but basically it just shows us this is the thing right here now if you long press on the back button it brings up the history stack so if i just long press on this it shows us all the previous menus we used to come to this destination. So yeah, I think that's pretty cool that it does that. So we could just jump all the way back to touch instead of going all the way back to touch. Pretty cool feature. Finally, we could change the video format in the camera app. Now for years, users have been asking Apple to allow them to change the camera format while recording or just in the camera app instead of going to settings. And it's pretty simple to do. You just touch the different options so could change from 4k 30 4k 60 4k 24 1080p could go to you know we could change between the different resolutions now a lot of people are saying this was introduced in ios 13 but some devices didn't have it and i think it's now like for every device so yeah pretty cool stuff here from apple so in ios 14 we could swipe away incoming calls to hide it so as mentioned they added a new support for a new caller UI and everything as a banner notification. So if you're getting a call like this, you could swipe it away just like so. And it will be up in the top corner right here. Kind of cool. So we could still do what we're doing or we could just pull back the call. In iOS 14, there's also a new reminder to charge your AirPods. I don't know what's wrong with Apple this year, but they're just trying to remind us to do everything. So yeah, basically in iOS 14, it will send you a notification as a reminder to charge your AirPods if it ever gets low. So yeah, mine's not low right now, so I can't show you. So there's also this new privacy report in Safari browser. So in iOS 14, when you visit a website and tap on the font menu right here, you'll find this new track and report feature. And this basically will report or display all the known trackers, prevented, and websites that's contacted trackers and more. So yeah, pretty detailed stuff here. 
if you're into stuff like this this will be very helpful now in the location services settings there's this new precise location toggle which basically certain apps will ask for a precise location now i think the only app i'll use this for is probably like uber or mcdonald's or stuff like that you could enable a precise location so yeah or if you don't want to enable a precise location you could turn that off so for example let's go into like like best buy we could turn this off and yeah it just won't have a precise location for example if you want to meet up with someone or something you could go into like kijiji so they don't exactly know where your house is so there's this new notification when an app or widget reads your clipboard so say for example you copy something from here if we jump on over into twitter and we want to paste it it just basically shows us where we pasted this from so if we go here paste it says twitter pasted from notes i don't know why it's there but it's there in general i've realized that safari has been faster so there's this new faster javascript performance in safari now safari on is 14 just has this new javascript and it essentially just moves way faster than before so yeah just know that your safari is usain bolt mode Now, in iOS 14, there's this new like law that bypassed that allows us to watch 4K videos on YouTube. So if we type in like, this only works for actual people who upload in 4K, all right? So if we're going to like this Costa Rica video right here, let me just show you guys. And it looks absolutely beautiful. You have to try this for yourself. So if we go here, settings, you could see that we could watch in 2160p 60 frames hdr now this got me hyped because this new this new version that's coming out with the 120 hertz iphone 12 hopefully has 4k but as you can see you could watch 4k content on your iphone now your phone is only 1080p but it still look better than the 1080p in my opinion and just a disclaimer this won't work on all videos for example let's watch like a MKBHD video. We all know MKBHD uploads in 4K, but his aspect ratio is different. Maybe his bitrate is different. So if we go into settings and quality, you can see that we could only see 1080p from Marquez Brownlee right here. So in iOS 14, we now have the option to add folders in voice memos. So if you come into voice memos, we have all these different voice notes and you might get lost. I always delete my voice notes as well. So as you can see, all recordings or you could create a new folder and call it YouTube save now we could move these ones so if we come here want to move these recordings just like so hit move then we could add them to the YouTube folder and thank God because now we have stuff that's organized so yeah shout out to Apple for this we have organized folders and we still have all our recordings in the all recordings folder so yeah pretty cool stuff from apple there's also this new home screen setting so if we go into the settings menu right here go to home screen we have these options so these are just categorized right here in the home screen settings and we now have the option to put new apps that we downloaded either on our home screen or straight to the app library so yeah that's pretty cool so if we don't want our apps to be clustered and cluttering up our home pages we could just send them straight to the app library and also we could show notifications in the app library so this is what my app library looks like right now it's kind of clean i like it but if we go into settings and hit show notifications we could also see the notification which not not the cleanest look but if you're into stuff like that then you could do that but for me i like to keep it clean and last but not least guys facetime now supports 1080p video calling so is 14 basically brings 1080p video recording to your devices now this would only work for the devices that has a 1080p camera so in the past facetime calls were always 720p was limited so yeah now apple supports 1080p video recording in facetime another bonus feature i could give you guys is that in rs 14 there's also this new like facial recognition thing that allows us or eyes to be always looking at the camera even when it's looking at the screen i'm not sure how apple will do that probably with ai or some stuff like that but yeah that will be a new feature all right so hope you guys enjoyed that video i'm gonna work on my watch always seven video now so make sure you're subscribed and you have post notification turned on so you never missed one of my new and latest videos 
Peace.